is up guys Anubis here with another PTO video and today it's I'm talking about some different stuff and it's about how not to really fight change in certain aspects of life in many different ways exactly er, not exactly especially because if you think about it the new Call of Duty is coming out in November and some people are very skeptical about the game and how what it's going to be like. They're changing, they're revolutionizing Call of Duty in many ways, in such the ways like the exo uh, exosuits and the game mechanics altogether. And it's just going to be very different, I think, because we as Call of Duty players have never really had a Call of Duty like this. This future, we've had futuristic Call of Duty such as Black Ops 2, but and uh, Ghost, but n not this futuristic. We've had other games such as Titanfall and Halo, but I think that Advanced Warfare brought just like took it ho to a whole new level of war, of warlike games, first-person shooters in a whole different way, and I just think how. What what are people like I said I've seen a bunch of people's thoughts on it most of them are positive but I've also seen negative ones people have think are thinking oh they're just trying to be like another Titanfall but it's ten times it looks ten times better than Titanfall Titanfall ti uh, Titanfall Titanfall has the mech suits which no lie I would say Advanced Warfare has those Goliaths which are pretty much mech suits but they are not exactly transformers I guess they aren't the size of a transformer like the Titans are and they just they actually, they actually it's a Call of Duty still they made it to where it's still Call of Duty but they put it in a way that it would work I think it's gonna work perfectly and if it's not I'll give you a different feedback later on when I actually play the game a little bit but Getting back to the topic at hand, the aspects or the changing or the changes aspects aspects. Gosh, I can't talk. But the change in life, the just any kind of change. Like I said, I'm experiencing a change in my life right now too. I actually I gave up basketball. Not really gave it up, but I just got it got old to me basketball got old to me so I changed my life and now I'm doing yearbook which is gonna I'm gonna learn like Photoshop and all this other stuff on a computer I would rather be on a computer than playing basketball might sound bad might sound good I don't know I, it's what I want to do though it's but it's just a different it's gonna be a difficult change because I know I have people mad at me for it I know that I let some people down I let down my school's tradition but it's, it's for my happiness and not theirs. It's my life, not theirs. I can do what I want, and I changed it for a good cause. So, but what I think is that change is good in some cases, but in other ways, it could be bad. You never know unless you, honestly, unless you change. And... I got this topic from my my boy Mega Troy, and thank you very much because it actually helped me a lot. But so shout out to 420 Clan. But um, it's just a it's an aspect that everybody goes through in life. Change is a number one experience that everybody look like I said everybody experiences in their life and. I know I'm not good at talking about this or anything, but I'm just giving my insight and what I think. But change is always for better. It's n never to, it's never pushed to do bad, and it's never gonna. Like I said, it's change happens through many different ways of life. It, like, like I said, new games they change they the more they get older older more popular popular they get they get more different uh different let's see different people to play them like different personalities to play them and they somehow make it 
they f make it fit to the certain personalities that there there is in the world. And if you don't like it, go play. You don't have to play it. Go play something else that fits your personality more better. Like I said, change your thought and change your way of life, and it it'll be just as good. And sorry, I'm gonna talk about the gameplay a little bit. I got it's a TDM on Fog. I go pretty good. I don't I don't think I get the mic. Mike Myers or the Michael Myers. I start the donkey. Why don't you get away from me? Why don't you get away from me, donkey? But I don't think I have a good accent. But it's just a. But so it's a good game. I I think. But you want to see me spraying a few times? But I don't care. But um, just a change. Like I said, well maybe I would have to. Like I said, to actually make a. I don't, I don't plan on making a living off of YouTube. It's a g good, it's a dream job. Like I said, who's it isn't or gamer wise, anyways, whose dream job isn't YouTube? But the thing is, uh, what was I talking about? Shit. Uh, to get big on YouTube, I guarantee there are people that actually change their lifestyle and change their content of their videos to somewhat fit the hype I guess you can like I said many people are doing the aspiring to become a, a gaming commentator there's way too many of them I'm, I'm me myself I've thought about this I know this I know there's a lot of gaming con commentators there's Ali A T Martin Chaos X Silencer C Nanners they're, they're PewDiePie they're all commentators in their own different ways they have their own personality and it's good but that's what, like I said, I watched the Chaos X Silencer stream today. He actually said there are no, there's almost no more original ideas on YouTube, and it's getting more more difficult for people to become YouTubers for, because of this. And you can't just up and change your personality because of it, because it's who you are. You can't just uh, up like one day. Oh, I'm gonna be a prank. I'm gonna be a prankster. Anybody can be a prankster. All right, that's easy. But and then you, next day you want to be. I want to be a gaming commentator. I want to buy an Elgato, buy a good PC, just go out on the limb and just change me all the way. You can't do that. It's like it's gonna take time for you to become that number one gaming commentator. And the way I see it, it's just gonna be. It's. I don't know if it's gonna be pointless. I don't think it will be pointless. But it's all. You gotta be you. Stick to you. But never change who you are to make to become famous. Or like I said, you see all these people becoming famous, and they change all who they are. They just get into the publicity stunts and all that stuff. But just don't let change. Don't let your life and what everything around you dictate what you have to change about your life. So, if that makes sense. And this video is going to be coming to an end soon, so I hope you all enjoyed. It's a really weird content, but I, I don't know. Peace out, everybody.